All is Well with Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Time for Cerebus issue 172, the 22nd chapter of Mothers and Daughters. Siren telepathically projects a message to the citizens of East, assuring them that she is fine and still in control, commending them for their loyalty and demanding Astoria and her followers surrender. Speaking of which, Astoria gets dressed while one of her followers frets over the inevitability of their death. Astoria is prepared, if not actually anxious, for the end especially since her stupid followers have put her whole movement at risk by openly amassing in one single location, which is now surrounded by Serena's troops. Her brutal honesty doesn't go over well with this follower, who leaves in tears. But Astoria manages to come up with a plan, involving gathering all the lamp oil in the hotel into one place. However, a dissenter in the ranks casts doubt about her intentions. Can she rally her followers with the right words? And is her plan even feasible? Meanwhile, Swoon is trapped in his own dream world, stuck as an oversized bartender for squirrels. Can he take control of the realm of dreams once more? The hooded death-like figure heads up the stairs into East. Siren resumes her purging of the library with only one good arm, and the pair of text excerpts reflect on the Palmu secret society of the Eye in the Pyramid. This is the McGrew Brothers' final appearance. Go darn it, varmint! This is another issue of Cerebus without Cerebus actually in it. As with many of those, you don't actually notice that the series' title character is missing until it's pointed out to you, usually. Astoria is the star of this issue, and I have to admit, I never truly liked her prior. She's always seemed like a power-hungry female Cerebus, basically. However, here, we get a deeper examination into her mental state uh, when she she's trying to figure out the right things to say to manipulate her followers and it really actually does make her into a better character to me she's not just a stone cold schemer but she's very human as well it's great to see this side of her i'm definitely on team astoria now though i wasn't on team Saren prior i mean it's a good debate Sirenism or kevilism Siren or astoria which one would make a better ruler of society i think Astoria probably has what it takes to run things, uh, as she showed during uh, High Society when she was manipulating Cerebus as Prime Minister. She was the one really in control there. But it, it's just better to accept Siren as a devil we know. I know both sides are critiques of classic feminism versus modern feminism, but Dave doesn't really give us a third option into what's being offered here aside from Cerebus's chaotic lust for power, which at this point doesn't even seem to exist that often as he's kind of gotten burnt out from running things. It's very much food for thought, though. Next time, you will believe an aardvark can fly. <laughs>